Shri Devi is the name of the most important female protector figure in Tantric Buddhism. Uh, she has many different forms. Like Mahakala, she is a category of, of deities. She is not a single entity. She is not one person who has multiple forms. Uh, Tara is an example of a deity that has uh, one entity and many forms. Sri Devi is not like that. Sri Devi in Tibetan is Paldan Lamo, and uh, Paldan Lamo, simply the translation, Paldan Lamo has many, many different forms, and it comes out of many different uh, texts. And with that, there's many different appearances. Now, coming out of India, the main form has one face and four arms and rides a donkey. Uh, the most common form that we find in Tibetan art is uh, is really a Sri Devi that doesn't necessarily come out of India. It's coming out of Enigma Tantra, so we don't really know the source of that. And this form has one face and two arms and is also called in Lamo, but we also add a more proper name, Maxor Gyalmo. And this is a, the form of Sri Devi that is most commonly found in, in Himalayan art because it, it later became the sort of special protector of the Gandan Podrong, the special protector of, of, of Lhasa. Um, and this form, one face two armed, is actually the wrathful emanation of Sarasvati. Now, earlier on, the, the main form coming out of India with the one face and two, and sorry, one face and four arms, this is actually the wrathful emanation of, of Lakshmi, goddess of abundance and wealth. So we have different origins for different uh, appearances of Sri Devi coming out of different tantric cycles. So it's important to remember Sri Devi is a category of protectors. In, in the Sakya Kagyu Jonang traditions, if you refer to Sri Devi as simply Sri Devi in Tibetan, which is Paldan Lamo, then you're always referring to a one face, four armed form that is, is either coming out of the Bari Lhotsawa or the uh, Rinchen Zongpo uh, lineages, or you're referring to in the Kagyu system of the special uh, Sri Devi coming out of the Naropa tradition. So if you're making reference to Paldan Lamo within the Gelugpa tradition, then it always means the one face two armed form, which comes out of the Nyingma Tantras and is a wrathful form of Sarasvati. So there can be confusion just in, in names when, you, when you're discussing these uh, or when you're reading them in modern texts. So many different monasteries have different special protector deities and special forms of Sri Devi. The majority of forms of Sri Devi that we find in the Tibetan uh, pantheon of tantric deities actually are, are Nyingma. They come out of Nyingma source texts. Very few actually come out of the, the sort of Indian uh, tradition of the, of the Sarma schools. So it can be a little bit, a little bit complicated to, to trace the origins of some of these Sri Devis. Now, with Sri Devi, often she is linked and she is sort of coupled with Mahakala. So they often go together or are partnered in different forms and, and can often be found in uh, each other's retinue. And that's where Sri Devi is the main deity. Then sometimes you can have Mahakala as a retinue partner. Or if it's Mahakala as the main deity, then Sri Devi will be uh, in his retinue. So they, they very much go together, but they come out of different, um, the many different forms come out of different, uh, different literature and, and they don't, they don't all match up. You, you have to, you have to know which Sri Devis go with which Mahakala coming out of which, uh, type of literature and which texts. So that's Sri Devi.